what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Holly and this is my booktube channel. As you can imagine, we talk about all things books and reading and everything in that realm. And today is going to be a little bit different. I'm gonna be doing the favorite things tag because one of my booktube buddies, Cliff, over with Cliff Start Gems, tagged me to do this tag and it looked like fun and so I just decided to do it. And by the way, if you have not checked out Cliff's channel, I will tag him below. You absolutely need to, especially if you are a fan of the horror genre. And without further ado, grab yourself a beverage and let's jump into the video. So the first question is, who is your favorite musician or band? Oof, that is not a fair question. I love music. I love rock. I love classic rock. I love that whole genre of music just feels like part of my soul. So trying to pick one is very hard, but I think if I had to pick one, it'd be this person, Stevie Nicks. I just, I, I think that is who I would have to pick. If I had to pick one person, it would have to be her. Anyone in my family or friends group that knows me knows that I have named my car Stevie and I'm obsessed with all things Stevie Nicks and that I need to go to one of her concerts before I die because that would just make my whole life. <laughs> I have um, three different record albums. I've got Fleetwood Mac Greatest Hits and um, Stevie Nicks live in concert and this one is actually really cool because I just got this for Christmas from my mom. This was her copy from back in the day so it is a true vintage, vintage Fleetwood Mac album and I freaking love it. I have loved her forever so <laughs> um, yeah I'd have to say her but there are a ton of really close seconds or even ties with that. So that is a really hard question. I think if I had to pick a really close second, it would be the band that kind of started it all for me, if that makes sense. Like the band that I listened to and just never looked back in terms of classic rock. I just, once I heard this style of music, I was done. <laughs> um, the short story is I was maybe Gosh, I had to be elementary school, maybe middle school, probably elementary school. And I was listening to whatever was popular at the time. I want to say it was like Backstreet Boys or NSYNC, you know. And my dad is standing in my doorway with something behind his back. And he looks at me and he says, turn that crap off and try this. And he handed me a CD of the ZZ Top Eliminator album. I'll put a cover of the, uh, put a photo of the cover up here on the screen somewhere because the CD is somewhere in my collection. I just haven't gone to go grab it. But that, that album was so key to my practical obsession with classic rock and rock in general. It started it all. And a few years ago, I actually got the privilege to go to a ZZ Top concert before Dusty Hill died. And I'm so grateful for that. I oh, I was so sad when he passed, but anyway, you can see how it's kind of a massive interest of mine because I've rambled on a little too long and we're only on the first question. So let's move on. Question two says, what are your top three favorite films? This tag is trying to kill me. I can't pick. How am I supposed to pick? <laughs> I guess if I had to pick three favorite films, I'm going to go with films that I guess are my favorite because I know I could watch them over and over and over and I can probably narrate them from start to finish. And that would probably be Legends of the Fall, Braveheart, and Gladiator. I'd have to say those are probably my top three favorite films and I have a lot more, but those are the ones that I can narrate. Like I know every word. <laughs> so there you go. Question three, what is your favorite scent? Ooh, that is a toss up between anything coconut or vanilla, that kind of realm, kind of the tropical sweet. But also I love smells like the smell of the rain and the smell of campfires and things like that. Question four, what is your favorite Disney film? 
man, they are not making this easy on me. <laughs> I love oh, so many. Um, I guess I would have to say when I was growing up, apparently my favorite was Cinderella. My mom said that I was just obsessed, but my mom also said that I had a weird obsession with all the Disney villains. They were like my favorite characters, even from the time that I was like three. I was just fascinated with them, particularly Maleficent. So Sleeping Beauty would be another favorite Disney film. I love Maleficent. Uh, as evil as she is, you have to respect all the villains and their gumption. You know, maybe they have a devious plan, but they really commit to a whole life of like solitude in order to carry out these devious plots. I mean, that takes some like grit. <laughs> so you have to commend them for that. Question five, what is your favorite season? Fall, that's a pretty easy one. I love fall. Um, I live in Texas, so we don't get as traditional of seasons as you would expect, but fall is really amazing around here. It's it's so mild and just crisp and cool, and it's the start of all types of different seasons. It kicks off like all the major holiday seasons, and it's the start of um, hunting seasons for um, those of us down here in Texas that enjoy the sport of hunting and it's just it just kicks off so much it's like the start of school and I used to love school and and hunting and seasons and just all the cozy amazing stuff that I love question six what is your favorite seasonal drink um you know I I think I'm one of those like few people that does not get super excited about pumpkin spice lattes they're not you know, my favorite thing in the world, but I do love apple cider. Um, I do love, you know, the salted caramel drink, whatever the hell that's called <laughs> at Starbucks. I've tried that and I actually really like that one. That is not bad, but um, I love apple cider. I don't know. And oh, and Gluvine. Have y'all ever had Gluvine? Oh my gosh, that might have to be a favorite. That is so good. Um, I think it's originally a German wine concoction. Um, essentially it's mulled wine. That's, that's the, you know, more layman's term for it, I guess. But, uh, Gluvine is, is really good as well. Question seven, do you have a favorite shirt or article of clothing? I swear I did not plan this, but I'm actually wearing one of my favorite shirts. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's just this kind of green camo black rifle coffee company shirt. And I bought it, um, a few years ago, I think, when I visited the Black Rifle Coffee Company store down in San Antonio, Texas, and it is just the softest shirt ever. I don't know what they make it out of, but it's like the perfect blend because I hate those just, you know, run-of-the-mill t-shirts that are super stiff and scratchy. I can't stand that. It drives me crazy. So this one's super soft, and I love the colors, and I love the, the bold design on the front, and I don't know. It's just one of my favorite shirts. And in general, I love all of my rock band t-shirts. Those are like my go-tos for any occasion. <laughs> Question eight. Who is your favorite author? Oh, I can't pick. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> I can't pick a favorite author. Oh my gosh. I don't think I can do it. I, I really don't. I'm sitting here trying to think and I don't know that I can pick a favorite. How did y'all do this tag? If you've done this tag, how the heck did you pick? If I can think of a favorite author while I'm running through the rest of these questions, I'll just randomly insert it. But right now, I don't know. I, I can't think of one. Question nine. Do you have a favorite spot for reading or writing? Um, I normally really like my couch. Um, I like specifically this one spot on the couch. I have a spot. Um, if you've ever seen Big Bang Theory, remember the character Sheldon? He has a specific spot on the couch. That's basically the same spot that I sit in. It's if you're sitting on the couch, the far left cushion. That's just, that's my spot. And the dogs know this. They sit to the right of me. <laughs> and my husband gets his big chair to my left. So <laughs> that's my spot. Question 10. What is your favorite food or dessert? Again, how are you supposed to pick these things? But I guess I'd have to say some of my favorite like comfort foods are 
a really nice warm bowl of chili or uh, my mom's enchiladas or pizza. I could smash pizza. Don't tempt me. I will do it. And I guess dessert, cookies. I, I will smash a box of cookies, but they have to be gluten-free. I have a gluten intolerance, which kind of stinks. So, but yeah, those are some of my favorites. Question 11, what is your favorite time of the day? That question is easy. Morning, like crack of dawn, sunrise, morning. I love mornings. I love them so much that I hate afternoons. I really do. I get kind of sad in the afternoon because I just want to start over and do morning again. I just love how everything's like fresh and renewed and ready to go and the day is still ahead of me and I have all the time and it's just, it's my favorite time of the morning. Plus I'm a really early riser. I get up at 5 a.m. every day and it is my time to myself before everybody else gets up, before I have to worry about any emails, any other human, that is my me time. So morning. Question 12, what is your favorite color? Okay, other than black and white, which aren't really colors technically, I'd have to say green. Green is my favorite color. If you look at my wardrobe, that's pretty much all the clothing I own is either black, white, some sort of neutral color like gray and green. I love army green specifically. That is like one of my favorites. Question 13, what are your top three favorite YouTube channels? Oh no, mm -mm, I'm not picking, no. I, I don't even think I have three favorites. Um, I, I think just in general, I love all the booktube channels that I follow. Like that's my favorite genre of YouTube videos. That is what I tend to watch the most. Um, I can't pick a favorite. I love when I see my like booktube friends videos come out like not even necessarily the really massive big youtubers that everybody likes but like just the small booktubers that take the time to comment on your stuff or say hello i just get excited for them that they're still putting their stuff out there and being bold and doing booktube i just i don't know i get excited when i see people doing well and people succeeding question 14 what is your favorite musical or play? That is difficult, but I do love anything with Doris Day. Um, one of my favorites of hers would have to be, oof, maybe Calamity Jane. I don't know if y'all have seen that, but she is awesome in that movie. And I also love the musical Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. It's an old musical with a really funny storyline. And I love that one. Doris Day's got a ton of musicals. I can't really pick, but, um, and I love White Christmas. That's like a classic Christmas musical that I really love. And there was one my dad showed me years ago. I think it was called The Music Man that was actually really well done and really entertaining. Um, so I did, I do like that one as well. And I could probably go on and list a ton of musicals, but I tend to like musicals that are, I guess, considered old or classic or vintage now, you know, the ones with Doris Day and Rock Hudson and all those characters. Okay, the last question, question 15. What is your favorite place that you have visited? That is hard. Um, oh my gosh. Oddly enough, it, it might have to be either Colorado where we went for our honeymoon, my husband and I, or New York City. I loved New York City. It w I couldn't live there. Like I just, I need my wide open spaces and my peace and quiet. <laughs> I couldn't live there permanently, but it is such a fun city to visit. And if you're kind of a history geek like I am, you'll appreciate all of the different sites. And I loved getting to see the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island because my great, great grandmother immigrated from Ireland and was went to Ellis Island to do so. She was like eight years old and she was entrusted with the captain of the ship that she came over on, came over all by herself at like eight years old. And I think she ended up working as maybe a maid or something in somebody's house. And my great great grandfather was the milkman. And um, obviously when they were older, not when she was eight, but when they were older, um, they started dating and eventually got married and, my family line continued. So 
um, seeing that piece of my family history was just awesome and I, I love it. And I went in the fall and if you have not seen New York in the fall, you absolutely need to. It is gorgeous. You will love it. So that is one of my favorite places I've ever visited. Well, that about wraps up the favorites tag. Thank you, Cliff, for tagging me. This was fun. I wanted to get this video out there not only because I was tagged, but because I wanted to give y'all some insight into a little bit more about me. Um, I never really know who to tag in these videos, so I always just say, if you want to do this video, consider yourself tagged by me. You can even say so if you do the video and let me know if you do it. I had a lot of fun doing it. I kind of ran through it quickly because I'm going to a friend's gender reveal party in just a few minutes, so I kind of have to hustle. But I hope I covered some interesting topics, and I'm still thinking about that favorite author, by the way, and I still can't pick. <laughs> I'm still stuck. I don't know. Um, yeah, so there you have it. That is the favorites tag. I hope y'all have an awesome day and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.